Right, welcome to this Battlefield Terrain tutorial. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up this terrain uh, as you see here. So, I'll run through the whole process uh, to show you the techniques involved, different stages uh, with this table. So, if you like the look of this board, then I'm going to show you from start to finish uh, how you can replicate this for your own games of Warhammer 40,000. So, as per usual, do check out the links section. Uh, I'll try and link out as much as I can uh, to the different elements of this table. So the first step is the battle map. This one's called Urban War Zone. It's from gamemet.eu. Uh, six by four inch size. Currently, they don't have this one at the 60 by 44 inches uh, for regular games of uh, 10th edition. Uh, but six by four, so slightly bigger. Uh, for this table, then, I simply mark off the boundary here uh, with the pipes. Uh, so it's an easy way of just marking the boundary and just keeping it sort of in theme with the rest of the board. Uh, it's the mouse mat material, so it rolls out nice and flat figure friendly nice and quiet for dice rolling as well and this is the kind of color scheme we've got going on here so some very light areas for the roads uh, it's high detail on this you can see the cracks and so on uh, on the road here and it's marking the pavement and boundaries and then into the ruins even with the footprint and foundation the ruins marked out for you you know details like this and then you've got the road section across here this kind of whitey off-white gray uh, with some yellows some rusts and browns running through so this battle map will give you a color scheme uh, for the rest of the board. So hopefully you can see much of the terrain sort of blends in uh, with the style of the battle mat. So I'll link that for you in the video description below. Uh, there is a discount code for you as well uh, for gamemat.eu so remember to use that and then that will give you the discount uh, for the battle mat. So there's a variety of shapes and sizes available, double sided mats as well uh, available from them. The next stage is the terrain. I've got a mixture here. So I've got some Games Workshop terrain. This is uh, the older uh, plastic ruin set that you can build and construct uh, and put together. So I've constructed these structures across here. You can use any terrain from Games Workshop um, for this. I and mean, Ruins are particularly good for this battle map because of the foundations and, and streets that are marked out for you. And then also using uh, the Chemzone terrain set. So that's these vats across here. Right, and then there's another vat across the other side. Also, these containers, very, very useful for putting into open ground. Those are from the Chemzone terrain set as well. And then also these barrels and containers across here. You also get a pipe section, uh, an extensive range of pipes and sections and junctions with, with that set, but I haven't included it here uh, on this board. And you can see more of the containers uh, and boxes and barrels uh, just marking out the edge of that ruin across there. So. It comes pre-painted. I have done a full tutorial on how I turned it into uh, this color scheme here to match in with this board. So I'm making use of sprays and then weathering effects, chipping effects, how to do the posters as well. It's all covered in that video. So it's transforming gamemat.eu terrain, which comes pre-made, pre-painted, and then switching the color scheme over to match in uh, with this table. And the same technique and process used for the terrain set here uh, are then used on the buildings uh, from Games Workshop as well. I'm just tying the whole set in so the whole lot matches quite nicely. So that'll give you much of the structure and height of the board. You get the ruins, the larger uh, structures like this, and the containers across the other side. There's some Unitorum armored containers as well, which there's again a full tutorial for painting those on the channel as well. Then onto accessories to really finish off the board, just adding little areas of interest. So uh, just, uh, Battlefield accessories here from Games Workshop. There's also uh, containers and boxes and barrels again from Games Workshop. All mat matches and mixes up quite nicely uh, with the GameMat.eu stuff. Some pipes from GW as well. Uh, and then some custom made stuff here. So these are walkways. Massive fan of these. They're scratch built. They're quite straightforward to do. The plastic's called Plastruct. Uh, it's those people that make model buildings for like architecture projects and so on. A lot of railway, ads, uh, hobby railway uh, modelers uh, who scratch build stuff would use it as well. You can get it often in the model railway shop. You can find it on eBay. It's called Plastruct. It comes white uh, and you use it just to construct stuff. It's all these I beams, H beams and so on. And then the, the grid that you can see here that is aluminium mesh for car body repair work. Again, you can get it cheap off eBay. Uh, and then combine those two together and you can make these walkways. I've got one stretched out across here. A brilliant job. You can use them to connect between buildings and accessories on the board. Uh, it just adds another height 
to the table. And they're, they're so flexible and you can span them across anywhere, use them as ramps as well. Uh, so I think they're a brilliant job. Now they come from the tutorial I've done quite recently on how to make the chain link fences. Again, these are scratch built. So I'll show you how to make one of these. I think it's actually this one across here. So how that's made. And in that video, I show you the same process. So that technique that you see there is the same process, same technique for making the walkways. And also these billboards add as well, which just really set the table off as a nice sort of 40K theme. Full tutorial from that has been done, so you can check that out if you like the look of those accessories. The great thing about these is that they can transfer over to any set of terrain. So if you've got jungle terrain, snow fight, city fight, whatever it is, they just switch across and can be used anywhere. So you really will get good use out of these. Highly recommend you do them. They're good enough fun to put together. And once you have them, you can just use them uh, constantly for games. So they're a brilliant job. And adding another level to your game. So yes, you've got the ground floor, but if you've got a second level with walkways and so on, it just creates another level of interest and really enhances a table. So those come highly recommended. The final finishing touch is the stones. So uh, if you try and get them from somewhere natural, like a, a river, I've seen these uh, looking uh, it's really good on uh, riverbeds if you get to the right place, beaches as well. If you buy them in, they come sifted and often very uniform that look as natural. Uh, but when you're able to get them naturally, you get all shapes and sizes uh, coming through, which I think looks a lot better. In amongst them is little bits, spare parts from kits. There's a hatch where a rhino smashed up, sprayed silver, washes over the top. Just little pieces like that just adds to the realism of the ball. Little bits of debris, you might see the odd weapon and so on uh, lying around as well. And it's those kind of details that just really create the narrative and the theme for your table. And I've used a wreck here, or one of my uh, Razorbacks from my Blood Angels. Just put the smoke on top, scattered some stones, and now you've got an abandoned vehicle on the table. And again, sort of at really adding to the narrative of the table. So that's how the board's put together. Foundation is the battle mat, link for that, and also the terrain. Uh, Games Workshop terrain mixed in here as well. Uh, then other accessories like the Minotaurum armor containers are a really good job. And again, these kind of things just transfer across from one different table to the next. If you get a supply of these, sort out. It's a great enhancement for games of 40k. You can just stack them up and just build height with them uh, and fill in gaps uh, really, really well. And then after the accessories, there's little details like the stones and scatter across the board, adding in some racks and so on, all of that to create the theme and narrative for this table. So we've got ourselves a board here. I'll link as many tutorials as I can, just to, and you, you, you can copy the, the whole concept here and, and copy this exactly, or draw elements from it uh, to enhance your own tables for your games of 40K. So that's the video. What we'll do is, uh, as we usually do, we'll, we'll fade out into some music here just to capture the flavor of this table. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time.